So in this video today, we're going to be measuring the density of some objects. We have a regular object, we have an irregular object, and also we have a liquid. Now, if you had a cuboid, a shape like this, you could just measure the length, the width, and the height to work out its volume. But for this practical, I'm going to be measuring the volume of this cylinder over here. And to do that, to actually work out the density, I've got this whole tray of equipment. So I have a mass balance, I've got various other things to work out volumes and dimensions. So first of all, um, let's start with this piece of wood. Now, in order to measure the mass, I'm going to be using a mass balance. And when I set this up, I'm just going to turn it on. And what I'm then going to do is I'm just going to zero it so it says zero to begin with. So 0.0, .0 grams at the moment. And if I just simply place this on top, this gives a reading of 26.2 grams. And what we can then do is we can convert that into kilograms. So we've got the mass. Now to work out the volume, we need to know a couple of things. We need to know how long it is and also the diameter. And if we know the diameter, we can then use the equation pi r squared to work out the area, the cross-sectional area of this cylinder. So to measure the length, I have a ruler. This one here, although it's a metre ruler, it still measures to the nearest millimetre, which is going to be perfect. So I'm just going to hold this to the side, um, and then you can make a reading very carefully of what you think the length of that cylinder is. And although it's measured in centimetres here, we can then convert that into metres. So we've got the length. Now to work out the diameter, it's actually quite difficult. If you've got a ruler and you're trying to put it to the side, it's very difficult to get a good reading. So what I'm going to be using instead is this device over here. So this is a digital caliper, sometimes called a micrometer. And what we can do is we can use the jaws here to measure the width or diameter of something like this cylinder. So it's turned on. The first thing I'm going to do though, is I'm just going to gently close the jaws like this, and I'm going to press zero. So we know that we've reset this. If I then open it, I'm going to clamp this on like that. And again, I'm just doing it gently so I'm not actually compressing that wood. So the first measurement is 23.31 millimetres, 23.31. I'm going to do it again in a different place. We can actually check it's cylindrical and circular all the way around. So 23.14. And I'm going to do it finally one more time. Let's just go here. And I've got 23.47. So now we have three different values for the diameter. We can calculate the mean. We can make sure that we've converted this into meters. And now we know the diameter and the length. We can work out the volume. And as we know the mass, we can now work out the density of this regular shape. Now the next thing we're gonna look at is this polystyrene. Now it's not a regular shape. And you can see that if we were to use even things like this micrometer here, it would be very hard to take the measurements to calculate the volume. So to work out the volume of this, I'm going to be using a different method. Again, first of all, I'm going to put the mass balance here. I'm going to zero that, and I'm just going to put this on top. So that's 0.4 of a gram, so it's very, very light. Now to work out the volume, what I'm going to be doing is using a displacement can. Sometimes it's called a Eureka can, um, and what we can do in this is we put some water into it, and then when we put this object under the water, it displaces water equal to the volume of this. So to do that, I have a box over here. I'm going to put it on top of the box. You could, of course, do it over the edge of the desk or near a sink. And what I'm going to do as well is just pour in some water into this right up until we get to the spout, and then this other beaker is just going to catch any excess that comes out. So there we go. Good. Now um, 
In order to actually measure the volume, we're going to be using a measuring cylinder. Now these do come in different volumes and we want to choose one which is appropriate for the volume, with, volume that we're testing. I think that this one here is going to be good. So this is a 25 milliliter measuring cylinder. And when I put this in, what you'll notice is that hardly any water comes out because this polystyrene is actually lighter than the water. So in order to submerge it fully, I could just put my finger in, but then I might be, have my finger under water as well. So what I'm going to do is try using a paper clip. So I'm just going to bend a paper clip. And what I can then do is use this to push this under water and catch the water that comes out. So there we go. And in order to actually measure the volume of water here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that when I put it down, I'm going to look at eye level to take the reading. And we're going to be looking at the bottom level of that water. And this is what you might be doing and quite familiar with doing in chemistry as well. So what we can now do is we get our eye level to this and we can record the volume in millilitres. And don't forget, of course, that one millilitre is the same as one centimetre cubed. We can then convert that into cubic metres when it comes to working out our density. So that one was polystyrene. And the final density is for a liquid. This liquid here is actually sugary water, so I've dissolved a lot of sugar into this water. Um, and in order to work out the density, again we need to know a mass and a volume. Uh, I'm going to use again my mass balance here. I'm going to choose a large measuring cylinder. And what I'm going to do is put it on top and then zero this once again. So what I can then do is add some water. It doesn't really matter exactly how much. So we've got 252.2 grams of sugary water. We can actually record the volume by keeping our eye level by the side of the measuring cylinder. And now we can use the formula that says the density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. We can do that for the wood, for the polystyrene, and also for this sugary water. And in the next video, I'm going to go through the results that I took.